Yes, everybody, I'm so excited to introduce Robin Short. Robin is currently serving as our VP of Public Relations, and she has completed her Pathways Level 4 on Presentation Mastery at the end of 2021. Today's speech, she's deviating from the Pathways and doing her own thing, which is fine. The speech time is going to be seven to nine minutes, and the speech title is Roll Bounce. Roll Bounce by Robin Short. Hello, fellow Toastmasters. Every couple of months, I'm up to something new. So this time is roller skating. And if you've ever heard the song, roll, bounce, skate, rock. So I've been up to lots of that lately. Um, there's a place in town called The Place, which used to be called a skating place. It's a skating rink in Coleraine, I've been, or in Coleraine. Um, and from 9 p.m. to midnight, every Thursday night, they have skating, a skating session for people 30 and up. Um, I wanted to get back into skating and I reached out to about 15 different friends and I got all kinds of excuses of why people could not come out with me. You wouldn't believe the excuses I got. One was that it was too late at night. The actual excuse that I received was, good Lord, that's so late. Let me know when you go before 8 p.m. Another person just used age, being too old and risking their health um, is why they couldn't come out with me. The actual text that I received is that their geriatric bones couldn't handle coming out skating with me. So uh, with all the excuses, I, I did get one friend that would come out with me and we um, planned to go. The first time I went, I was shaky, I was nervous, I was so slow and it just was, very much a scary thing for me. And what I was excited about was, <laughs> what I was excited about was that the sights all around me, what I was watching. Should I move up some? Okay. Um, so every time I went around, there was something different going on. There were like synchronized skaters and all I could see, it might be a group of eight or 10 people and everybody was in the same motion. So the leader of the group, if he went to the left, they curved their bodies to the left. If he had a lot of bounce in his shoulders, they would have bounce in their shoulders. So there was so much, so much going on. And it was all about the rhythm, unity, and staying in line with the beat and having a good time. They also had speed skaters, so people buy these special skates and they can go so fast, like whoo. And what I had to do was make sure I got out of that their way because I was way too new to be out there in their way. And then there were people in the center of the rink and they would be working on their um, like different line dances that go with songs. So they're working on their routines to all be in motion again as a group. But what really took the cake for me, the icing on the cake, was a guy that during the set of slow songs, he would have his saxophone on him and he would be skating backwards to the slow songs. And this was so exciting and so unexpected for me that I'm like, what? Oh my goodness, this just made my week. So after that first week of all the excitement, the different things going on in the rink, I was hooked and I said, I will be back next week. So with being a new person, of course, I got lots of advice from different people. Somebody's like, you need to loosen up your body, loosen up your shoulders. And one recommendation was, was, was that I got my own pair of skates. So I'm usually not the person that goes down the rabbit hole of purchases for a new interest, but I said, hmm, maybe. Um, one friend just said that, that if I got my own skates, which I did, I'll show you guys my skate is that you kind of know what your wheels will be like every time, you know how it's gonna fit in the ankles. And what really sealed the deal for me was that one lady said that when she rented skates one time, when she took her skate off at the end of the session, her feet smelled so bad. And that was just a little too much <laughs> for me. So I quickly said, 
you know what, I'm gonna make the investment and get my own skates. So I did that. Um, and I just said there would be no, I wouldn't feel bad if I wasn't interested in skating in a month. I would just be happy that I had the experience of having my own skates and trying to practice and get better. And then there was a question that was posed to me on my first time when I went skating. And that question was, when would you mind to come skating and not fall? And to my friend, I said, um, never, I don't want to fall. What I had envisioned in my mind of me falling it is kind of like the kids on the play playground, like, ha ha ha, oh my goodness, she fell, why is she here? But what I realized as I was going is that there were people that fall all the time and it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I was making it in my head. The one time I went, there was a guy who was practicing his double axle in the center of the rink and he probably fell 15 times in a row, but every time he would just get back up and try the same thing again, just, you know, with the goal of him nailing it. So I just kind of thought about it in terms of, like she said, to get better, I might have to fall a couple times. And she was thinking maybe if I was too embarrassed to fall on a 30 and up night, would I not mind to come and fall on like a Saturday morning with a bunch of kids? And I thought about it in terms of, as an infant is going from crawling to pulling up to walking, they're gonna fall a bunch of times but eventually they will be able to walk. So that was like a big life lesson that came out of something that I didn't even expect. And now I'll share with you guys my top three goals for skating for like the next couple months. My number one goal is to get more comfortable. So as I said at the beginning, I was shaky and stiff and nervous and so slow, but I want to go from skating like a zombie to being smooth and be able to dance and move around with the music. My first couple times I went, I just said, I was dancing in my head because all my body could do was skate, but I couldn't skate and dance at the same time going around. So I wanna get comfortable with doing that. And then my second goal will be to learn to stop. So somehow, I guess I kind of missed the memo that this toe stop here is a way that you can stop. <laughs> I never really do. I just always like, oh, let me just skate into this wall to stop. So now I know there are three different stops. The toe stop here, a T stop, and a plow stop. So my goal will be to get good at at least two of the stops in the next two months. And then the final goal that I will share with you guys today will be to skate from the rink to the carpet or the carpet to the rink. What I usually do is get to the edge of the carpet hold on to a wall, step one skate over, step the other skate over, and then use the wall to try to push myself off. But now that I've been going, I see that it's possible to go from the carpet, already have your momentum, and go straight out to the skating rink, skating around. So those three things are the goals that I have for myself in the next couple months. And they are to get comfortable with skating, get rid of all the zombie skating. It would be to learn to stop using the toe stop, and then finally to go from the skating rink to the carpet, carpet to the rink continuously without stopping. So thank you guys for listening to my newest adventure of skating. If anybody's wanting to get some roll bounce, rock skate, then you can join me on Thursday nights for the 30 and up skate night. Thank you. Excellent, excellent speech, Robin. I'll give.